it finally happened. You tied the knot. You jumped the broom. You got married. Now what? They say the first year of marriage is the hardest. Up next, we discuss what happens after you say, I do. Hello, and welcome to the Loveology podcast, where we talk about love and life with laughter. I'm Ashley. And I'm Jason. He's the carefree one. She's the serious one. And And we're we're married. married. We have been since 2012, and we like to think of ourselves as a couple of loveologists. Not because we are the experts, but because we just love love. We enjoy studying and talking about it, so we thought, let's just start a podcast. A place where we can share what we have learned about love, relationships, and marriage. You can share what you've learned, and we can all grow together. So here we are. Are you ready? Let's get started what's up what's up hey everybody what's up love how you doing what it is what it do what it is what it do we're doing great <laughs> i'm doing fine i'm enjoying myself and we about to jump on a uh, a topic that's uh that many people know about and some people don't know about yeah we're talking about the first year of marriage the first year of marriage mm-hmm. so what was your first year of marriage like for you oh wow yeah <laughs> We jump right into it. <laughs> well, you know, we just, I just wanted to, you know, backtrack a little bit and say that most people say that the first year of marriage is the hardest. That's what they say. Yes. Yeah, I still I don't know. <laughs> um, I I I don't know if I heard that um, that saying. I'm pretty sure there's other people that haven't heard it as well. So I don't feel bad about it. <laughs> So I don't believe it's the hardest. Okay, well, great. We'll talk about that. Yeah. I, I'm I I actually haven't thought about it whether or not I felt like that was our first year. I mean, our was that our hardest year? <laughs> I mean, technically, the first eight months of our marriage, we weren't even together. We was deployed, right? So, do we are we talking about that first? Eight? Yeah, I mean, we'll, or we'll we talking about the 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 first year we was actually. Together? I mean, technically, it's our first year of marriage. So let's just break it down for everybody who mm-hmm. doesn't haven't heard this story about. Jason and myself, I was in the United States Navy. Who y'all? When uh, <laughs> don't be hating on my um on my Navy. Uh, who? Oh, okay. Air Force. Okay. <laughs> Heard, understood, and acknowledged. Um, that's also what who y'all means to. No, no, no. It does. Uh oh. I yeah. I means that exactly. Oops. <laughs> mm-hmm. I've been out for a little little second here. So I've been out longer. Okay. Yeah, that's true. So anyway, so I was in the United States Navy. Um, Jason and I actually were long distance the entire time we were in a relationship. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. We um, live. We live about two hours apart. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then once I went into the Navy, we lived what twenty two uh, <laughs> driving hours apart. Virginia, Virginia to Memphis. So y'all do the math. Yeah, I think it took like twenty four, <laughs> twenty two hours. Or it didn't take drive. that long to drive there. No, not okay. to Virginia. No. Okay, well, anyways. Maybe 13 hours. Oh, okay. So, I don't know where I got 22 from then, but... Driving to L.A. Oh, that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah, we got married th- three months before I deployed, before I went on an eight-month deployment. Yes. So, yes, our first year of marriage, we were <laughs> in different states for the first three months, and yes. then we were... In across the different ocean <laughs> for the yeah. next eight months. Across months. the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> yes, across the Atlantic Ocean. So, um, definitely, our first year of marriage is different than a lot of other people. Um, but yeah, so we can talk about that and our actual first year of marriage mm-hmm. together, living together, yeah, in the same place. Okay, cool. So <clears throat> let's jump right in it. You know, um. Uh, I know we, we're going to break these things down, but I just, you know, for me, my first year of marriage was a breeze. So when you say that, do you mean our deployment first year or our actual first year? Both, really. Okay. Uh, yeah. But to me. It, call your bluff on the deployment first year. I mean, don't get me wrong. Deployment <laughs> is a deployment. You know what I'm saying? For our military spouses that, that know a deployment is a deployment, right? It's it's gonna be its ups and downs. It's gonna have that. It's, it's it's gonna be tough overall. But as far as a 
as a uh, as a as a married spouse, military spouse, and you was deployed, that was a cool deployment mm-hmm. compared to deployments, right? Yeah. So scale of one to ten, if you got now, if you compare it to a, a civilian, then then yeah, deployments are nerve wracking, mm-hmm. right? But since I already been in the military, and uh, you know, I knew what to expect to to a degree. Uh, because I was Air Force, you was Navy. Our deployments are gonna be a little different, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of different. So I knew what to expect to a degree, but uh, for deployments, um, it was it was a, it was a breeze. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So let's start. Let's come back to that, and let's start by talking about um, what you know are some reasons why they being you know counselors, people on the internet, <laughs> people in general mm-hmm. <laughs> say that um the first year of marriage can sometimes be the hardest and here at the loveology podcast we like to study love which is what loveology means yes and so i do a lot of research and just kind of like anytime we talk about a topic i just try to see what's out there Mm -hmm. so this i just got this from various uh sources on the internet and just actually talking to other people about the first year of marriage as well so some of the reasons why people say that mar- the first year of marriage could be the hardest. Um, sometimes people have not yet gotten used to always considering another person. Yeah. Yeah, Did- that's true. <laughs> yeah, because I'm, I'm still working on that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Being considerate. Um, we working on seven years, y'all. Seven <laughs> years of marriage. Yeah, because I've just been, you know, kind of like a Ruverine Isk or Raphael from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I was kind of a loner, <laughs> uh-huh. a lone wolf. Even with my friends, I'm you know I'm I'm kind of the I, I will I will break off from the pack, mm-hmm. and you won't know it. I yeah. just do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. Which he's done that to me before. You're not <laughs> as bad as that anymore. <laughs> with that anymore. I don't know. It's just I don't know. It's just something in me. I just. That, go this way you know and i just go yes like literally we went to like an art thing we were meeting another couple there but we went to this art gallery thing yeah and when we walked in jason was there for like two seconds and then he just walked off and started like looking around and they were like where did jason go by this point i was already used to it (laughs) but (laughs) didn't tell me where you were going you just like wanted to scope out the whole art gallery so you just like left Without right. like saying, excuse me, y'all, I'm gonna go take a look around. You just whoop, just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> zipped off. Yeah, something that's that's not that's not good. I should tell people. Yes, and I've gotten better. You have. You've gotten a a lot better for sure. <laughs> mm-hmm. So imagine, you know, you with the with the fellas in 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 Vegas, and then you will just you know, one minute you see him at the table, the next minute he's gone. Yeah. So that's that's kind of <laughs> how I am. Yeah, and and I can actually see how this can be very difficult for a lot of people, especially if you've been single for a while. And just understanding that, like, we don't make, um, Jason and I do not make any, like, major decisions without talking to the other person. So something, and, and not so major decisions. So something as simple as, like, bringing somebody over to the house, you know, actually, you need to call me. <laughs> right. And say, hey, babe, um, so-and-so is coming over the house. Are you cool? Because I could be running around here doing anything. <laughs> you don't know what I'm doing at You're the house. around here bucky necky. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I'm very spontaneous. And Ashley is well planned out. Mm-hmm. So um, when we we come together, um, it, it, it does have some unique situations that, that, that can pop up because of our just just how we are just baseline mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying yeah so yeah yeah you should consider your people man yeah and it's it's I, like i said i can see how a lot of people could you know this could really be hard especially if you've been single for a long time and you just used to doing what you want to do when right. you want to do it and not having to not ask permission but just like consider someone else's space time feelings right before you make a decision Right. So if you haven't gotten that down pack, the first year of marriage, you're going to be figuring that out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that may cause some arguments. Right. Um, do you think that marriage changed you? Does it did it change me? Like, does it change things? Because a lot of people say, you know, 
you know, some people will be together for like 12 years just in a relationship yeah. and then they get married and then they get a divorce like the next year. And I've always been curious as to why. And I think that, I mean, well, from my research, it seems like sometimes, you know, marriage does change people. Yeah, I think marriage does change people. But I don't understand if you've already been together for 12 years and then you get married and it's like, it's done. Mm -hmm. I don't get that. I think it was already, a, you know, it was a, the, the recipe of being done was already there. Mm -hmm. So they probably say, well, let's just get married as a last ditch effort to try to save the relationship. That's all I, that's something I can think of. Cause I don't understand. I think just being around somebody other than yourself changes you, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Whether you're married or not, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And so for you to get married, you know, legally, uh, le legally married, that shouldn't affect how you feel about this person or that shouldn't affect, how you you um you know how you maneuver throughout life mm -hmm. what of what changes you is you, the you know the proximity proximity of being close to that person all the time or a lot that changes you not jumping a broom mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying so if you've been together then you should already got those changes already should have been already been transforming you already yeah well i think from what i was reading it was saying that basically people's mindsets about life together change and it's like you put like a whole lot a lot more pressure on yourself so um when you have a fight it's like oh i gotta deal with this forever you know mm -hmm. what i mean like it's like more intense everything is more I don't want to fail or like, oh, you did this one time and I just keep thinking about, I got to deal with this forever <laughs> because Man, now I'm married. Just chill, first of all. <laughs> yes, I yeah. think so. Like some Relax. people do. It's like, oh, they just want to their marriage to, you know, succeed and they put too much pressure on themselves about certain things that, yeah, you know, like you said, just chill and re just relax. Yeah, just chill, man. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, it is serious. This marriage is a serious thing, but it's like, this is a partnership. This is a journey. You know what I'm saying? And and this is your partner that you selected to 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 play this journey out, man. Mm -hmm. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't get all don't major in the minors. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because that can that can that can that can call cause unnecessary issues. It's you know what I'm saying? It's 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 just a shoestring. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let, let's let's focus on more important things. Right. And and use our, our energy for that. Uh, you know just mm -hmm. relax that's my you know my suggestion just relax it's okay mm -hmm. you know forever it's really not forever so let's let's get that out there what do you mean by that well because life ends well you know what i'm saying you know what they mean no nah, no nah. forever as long as i'm alive no because like <laughs> life is short you know uh -huh. what i'm saying life is short so you got to understand that it's not forever it's just for your lifetime life is the, i believe there's life after death mm -hmm. i don't know if we're going to be together in heaven mm -hmm. i don't know how that works but <laughs> all i know is you life is short you got to enjoy your life mm -hmm. you you chose this person to 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 take an adventure of life with mm -hmm. so enjoy it yes um i also think that some people may get in trouble because they might get a little comfortable you know this whole well i got them now i ain't got to do nothing else yeah. so you know or a guy well complacency. i got her now yeah this is complacency with anything you know you do that with your job sometimes you do that with your vehicle mm -hmm. you know you don't wash it as much uh so i think th i think that's just a natural thing you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying some people abuses it you know what i'm saying some people go overboard with it but i think that's just a natural uh a natural thing and plus you've been around that person 24 7 mm -hmm. so no they're not maybe they're not even being complacent it's just now you see more of them you know what i'm saying they're not all dolled up all the time or they don't have a haircut every time you see them you know right. what i'm saying mm -hmm. maybe you catch them in the morning with their breath a little, little funky you know, typically you don't do that if you're not together you know in close proximity yeah yeah so yeah i think but some people just like lie to get with a person too yeah you know and get married and they, lie they to just get totally jobs too. flip the script yeah you got liars that's just that's life it's liars hey i didn't but, know it's liars mean, out there <laughs> yes but <laughs> they you don't want to get married to a person that totally didn't 
present themselves the way that they actually are. Right. That's why you got to take your time. Time reveals all things, right? So, right. you know, and it heals as well. So, you know, they'll tell a lie, and eventually you'll catch them up. So mm-hmm. just, you know, I don't know what's the time limit on it. I wouldn't get married with somebody within a couple of months. That's just me. Uh, you know, it could be, you know, a couple of years, you know. But, uh, you know, you got to use your your inner vibes as well to kind of pick pick apart those those lies. Yeah. You know, and yep. those false false reads that they put out there. Right. Whatever. Call it audible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, some people back to like some reasons why people first year marriage may be hard. Some people may be struggling with like a loss of identity. Mm-hmm. And I think this probably happens to women a lot. Mm-hmm. I had like a little moment where when it came to changing my last name, as I said in the beginning, um, I I changed, I mean, excuse me, I got married but three months before deployment and um, I was not about to change my last name. Right. No. You wanted me to. Do you remember that? Uh, maybe. Vaguely. Yeah, you was kind of like, you're not going to change your last name? I said, no, not before I, I get. Do you know? I get it. I how get much it work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the cause, time. Because I didn't. <laughs> I didn't have to. I don't. I didn't have to go through that type of stuff. Yes, you did. Right at the time, you was kind of hung up on what we married. You need to change your last name. I said, I'm not doing it. I don't know if I was just that (sighs) hardcore like that. How you you making me like I'm just a you know, I'm just a villain. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't that hardcore with it. Cause yeah, I'm pretty, I should see my face right now. Because I'm pretty <laughs> easy going. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> You said, if you ain't going to change your last name, we might as well not even got married. <laughs> That's what you said. Well, Ashley does have a better memory than me. So <laughs> we're going to give it, we're going we're gonna to give it to her. You know, you got to mm-hmm. learn how to fight your battles. So, you and know. I was like, whatever. She, I will change my name. Lady, sometimes you just gotta you just gotta stick up for yourself. I, don't I, know. I just don't remember. Change it. my name when I get back. Be the first. Th- this will be the first thing on my list of things to do. Yeah. But I'm not going through all of this changing social security you. number. Yeah, I mean, you, cards. Yeah, this is this is a government job, so you gotta get. You I gotta get all, all my t- uniforms, all documents. Yeah. For uniforms, those who do not know, you gotta get them sewn on. Yes. For those who do not know, the military, all day. the mil- the military, we call each other by our last names. Right. Your last name is your first name. Yes. So on all my uniforms, my last name is on it. So that means that I have to literally <laughs> run around. Now, I'm getting deployed, right? But I got to run around and try to do all the paperwork and change my name on my uniforms. No, I'm not right. doing it. And, so, and you have to, you know keep up with all the the pre-deployment stuff that you have to do right to get up out of there right so yes a lot going on exactly so after i i think he he realized very quickly because we only really had to have like one conversation about it to me you know i was had my foot down you're you change your name now you just got a little attitude with me and i was like uh excuse me sir i didn't say that i'm never changing my last name and if i wanted to because plenty of women do not change their last name it's no big deal you it know, is what it is. Who but is it? it is for you. Yeah. Let's talk about that because some men, you know, that's a conversation that people would have to have with one another, right? About you know who's taking whose last name, and mm-hmm. you know this is an old tradition dating back to when men actually owned women. Megan Good, does does she change her name? No, Megan you still call her Megan Good. I don't I know. Mean, that's me, <laughs> but you know, I could be wrong. <laughs> we got Jada Pickett Smith. Well, that's we she know added Kim. Smith, right? I think Kim Kardashian is Kim Kardashian West. Yeah, because they they have a brand. They have you know they are very, you know, their name is 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 a, a part of their identity. Right. So, so because I was in the military, um, I did have a little moment of like sadness because I'm like, oh wow. People who knew me in boot camp because my name that we we call each other by our last name, you know, they're not gonna be able to find me if we haven't been in touch with each other because I'm just gonna change my last name and they don't know. Ain't nobody checking for you like that. Well, I'm just saying if they were, (laughs) and even my high school classmates, you know what I'm saying. They know. Look, well, I now tell because we have Facebook, but (laughs) look, look, all your classmates know who you married to. 
well, whatever. You but, had how many? But imagine no, other people. Let's, let's let people of the world know <laughs> how many people you graduated in your class. I graduated with 75 people. 75 people. So all those 75 people know exactly who you're married to. Okay. So they're, but, they're good. I'm just saying. Well, my, my boot camp people don't know. Just people that I met along the way. You don't even remember how some of those folks in boot camp. But Much less the they point last is, name. The point is, is that they would not be able to find me. If they looked for me, because my last name has changed. And I preferred my maiden last name over yours because... <laughs> my last name is legit. Your last name is... Well, our last name... Yeah. Everybody has it. It's so many. So? Okay. Well, anyway, so, yes, I was actually shocked because I never... I just always like, oh, yeah, I'll take my husband's last name as I thought about marriage in the future. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, I changed my last name. No problem. No big deal. Right. But then when it came to the moment of doing it, I was like, mm, I think I feel a little funny about this. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel I feel a little sadness, and I was surprised that that was there mm -hmm. at all, you know? So that's stuff y'all don't got to worry about. So but. do you think men should, should change their last well, name? Well, I believe they do in the Spanish culture, don't they? I don't know. No, 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 no. It's like the women take their mother's mat last name. Mm -hmm. So the mother's last name travels. I can't remember. In the sp people in the Spanish culture, please let us know. I yeah. can't. I can't remember. So I don't want to say the wrong thing. But, um. But yeah. Yeah, I, they got like a whole bunch of names and stuff. Yeah, because it's it's their last. It's last names. It's like their mother last name is included in in the mix. So you their know? mother and their father's last name. Yeah. And I used to go to school with a girl from Iceland, mm -hmm. and I forgot how they do it, but, like, all her brothers and sisters, their last name is different because they don't all take the father's name. They do something different with their last names. Mm. And so she said when she came over here, the people were confused. Like, I don't understand why y'all have all these different last names. And she was trying to explain to them that they do it differently in Iceland. Like, this is not a worldwide universal thing that yeah. we take the man's last name. This mm. is America. Like, this is what we do here. But, and like I said, it comes from a tradi tradition of when men, like, w women were supposed to be your property, you know? <laughs> so, mm. so that's why a lot of people don't like it. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I don't, I don't read that deep into it. I'm just like, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go with I the know club. some, I know some, 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 some guys was in my class. Well, one of them was in my class. They had the same first name. Mm -hmm. It was the Leroy's. Yeah, they were first, second, third, fourth. Okay. Yeah, so the so America, we do last names and we do first names too. Okay. <laughs> we'll throw that out there. <laughs> we mix it up. Yeah, but for me, as far as like identity goes, like I didn't have this problem with the first year of marriage, but I guess maybe some people could. But I think as time goes on, I think that I've had to like make sure that I don't just become mama and wifey mm -hmm. and lose who Ashley is mm -hmm. before I got married. Yeah. As time goes on, I don't really see the first year feeling like I was going to have a problem, you know, with that besides the last name thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. And then another issue that people could have is debt. And where do you think a lot of debt comes from? <laughs> A lot of debt comes from school. A lot of debt comes from past relationships. Yeah, but uh, as it pertains to marriage, like, what's the first thing that probably caused a couple to the, get into the debt? wedding? The wedding. Yeah, <laughs> yes. like it's it's uh it's if for all my Game of Thrones listeners and watchers, you know, you, sometimes that wedding it, it can turn into the red wedding. You know, and what? put you. Well, what I mean is put you in debt because <laughs> mm -hmm. red is in debt. Oh, okay. When you in black, oh, then you're yeah. profitable. You went too deep for me. <laughs> yeah, that's why they call it Black Friday because that's the point where most uh, uh, companies get very profitable off of that weekend. Uh, so they call it Black Friday. Mm -hmm. Yes, for y'all didn't know that. So yes, the the wedding can be a red wedding for you guys and can almost kill your, your your marriage before it even starts mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah for sure being in debt because debt you know money causes issues if you have money issues that can cause problems that normally wouldn't be there yeah. money doesn't solve everything but it does ease up on some stuff you know what i'm right. saying your back ain't against the wall yeah you, you don't know what you're gonna do dang should i fill up the car should i eat some noodles you know mm -hmm. you you don't want to go back to those times <laughs> you, you hear me right <laughs> So, can't even fill up the car. I know some people can't even fill it. I remember that, well, at one point I couldn't fill up the car. It was just like, psh, 
I'm just going to put a little bit in here. Mm-hmm. $3.75. What Y'all I been there before. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. So. So, yeah, that can have a, you know, it's one of the leading causes, you know, um, of relationships ending is just fights over debt or excuse me fights over money period Mm -hmm. and so um yeah you know that that wedding bill can be a major a major thing jason and i we did not we weren't playing around with that (laughs) we ain't trying to go in debt oh we starting off this journey and we're gonna go backwards although yeah hey if that's what you do go for it you Mm -hmm. know what i'm saying just I just wouldn't go into debt doing it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I wouldn't go into debt getting married. I wouldn't go into debt, debt celebrating a baby shower. Mm-hmm. You know, I just wouldn't go, go into debt to those things because these are things that you need money for. You need money for that marriage. You need money for that baby. So you're throwing a, a expensive baby shower just to, I don't know what you're doing, <laughs> but to show off. I don't know. You know, mm-hmm. you, I know you're happy, you're excited, but you need that money. Yeah, diapers cost, food costs. Luckily, Ashley was breastfeeding, so that kind of brought down some costs. But that little crumb snatch is starting to eat some real food now, <laughs> so we need to <laughs> we gotta have some money set aside <laughs> for him because it's another mouth we gotta feed. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I mean, but for some people, they dream of having the wedding, like you know, their whole life. So what do you think if I was a you know the type of woman? It's like I just really want a big wedding. What do you think you would Well, in the traditional sense, you know, your father's supposed to pay for it. That's first and foremost, mm-hmm. right? Uh, so, you know, it's a, lot, a lot of times tradition is being reshaped or just thrown out the window altogether. So if you're the type of person you want a big wedding, mm-hmm. uh, go ahead and start saving for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, what do you mean? You're a butthole. How about a butthole? <laughs> go ahead and start saving for it. But what you supposed to do? I mean, you getting married to me? Don't you want to give me what I want? What I what I mean is, <laughs> when you are, like, I do definitely want to get you what you want, mm-hmm. right? But you know, sometimes you know we got to weigh out the, the the pros and cons of things. You know, mm-hmm. it's like, hey, do you want a you want a big wedding or do you want a big house? Mm-hmm. Do you? Sorry, it has to be one or the other. <laughs> but that's how much money we got. So yeah. yes, we really it has to be one or the other. Mm-hmm. Do you want a big wedding or do you want? Two new cars. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Do you want a big wedding or do you want to start this business? Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's 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 cool to want a want a wedding if you did, you know, a big wedding. If you like I said, if you got the money for it, if your daddy can can pay for it, if y'all, you know, y'all got some money, go for it. You know, mm-hmm. celebrate. I'm not knocking you on, on on your celebration. I'm just saying if you feel like you're that type of person and you young, you know, twenty 19, go and start saving up for it. Mm-hmm. You know, because you don't know who your mate going to be. You may have a boyfriend that may be your mate, but you don't know. Just go ahead and start saving for it. You may have a boyfriend that may be your mate? Maybe your 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 husband. Oh, your, your current boyfriend. Right. Oh, okay. And, mm-hmm. But maybe not, you know. Mm-hmm. So, you know, have those conversations early and go ahead and start saving for it if that's what you want to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was just playing devil's advocate because, of course, I was never – the type of person that really wanted to have a really big wedding. Right. Um, we definitely um, had like a dinner where we invited like 50 of our closest friends mm-hmm. and family. Took um, about three years to pay that off. No, it didn't, Jason. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Anyways, he's exaggerating. <laughs> we had to charge that. Yeah, we did actually. Yeah, we but, charged that. Yeah, but it wasn't that much. So, so yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, is I think it's something that couples should definitely consider before they get married that you know this could be a cause of conflict starting off their new marriage and it's already I guess with all of these points the point the main point is is just it can be difficult merging your life with someone. Yeah. And so finances is a major part of merging your life with someone. Mm-hmm. So um you know, you want to try to have that on as good as possible and not be stressed when you're supposed to be enjoying each other and enjoying the new married life not to be stressed with um financial issues right um so like i said it's you know if you can afford it great 
And then another financial piece is that people may not be honest with, like, their debt. Mm -hmm. Uh, We talked about this a little bit on another episode, Coins and Commitment. Coins and Commitment. (laughs) So check that out if you haven't heard it. But it's about, you know, just how to have conversations about finances and how important it is to have conversations about finances. And a lot of this stuff has to happen in the first year of marriage, even if you live in, even if you were living together, things are different, I guess, when you're married, you know? So, you know, sometimes people may not have been comfortable doing that yet. Mm -hmm. Um, So, yeah. I think, you know, I think we should make a a checklist, a loveology checklist (laughs) of when um, you're dating, right? Uh Um, Because, you know, things have changed, you know what I'm saying? Times have changed and you got to, you got to get some stuff, you you got to get some stuff known up front because mm-hmm. we got we don't have time to be wasting time. That's the one thing about society today is sped up. Like as far as nobody's you know I'm not saying nobody, but people are you know you know not as patient anymore. You know it goes from watching you know thirty minute videos when YouTube was first out to now people you know stuck on a ten sec ten minute you know well ten second videos of the vines and. Hey, I want it quick. I want my information fast. Mm-hmm. So relationship is no different. They want to know what they're getting early. So, you know, like, uh, you know, some people when I was dating, they would ask, hey, do you have your 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 medical records from see if you got any STDs when the last time you've been checked? Mm-hmm. Have you ever had that question before? No. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna move right along. <laughs> so yeah, you wanna you wanna be sure and get that get your get your little checkup right, mm-hmm. and th- they want to see that paperwork. Hey, you know, cause you know I might want to do something different. <laughs> you know, a little mm-hmm. strange for a piece of change, <laughs> and I need to know if I'm I'm protected. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So number two, you about need to ask for that credit report too. <laughs> We you know, get engaged. Yeah, get engaged. Even boyfriend and girlfriend. We yeah, can, we yeah. can talk about that. You're not open to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay if it's if it's low. I've mm-hmm. been low twice. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I've been in five hundreds, six hundreds. You know what I'm saying? I've been low twice, mm-hmm. but you know it all comes back around again. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, if you it takes time. Learn from your mistakes and 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 willing to work on it. Yeah, right. <laughs> so if you low, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Y'all, that's the whole point. Because life is 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 a difficult journey, and it's I think it's best to do it with a partner. I think so too. Yeah, I enjoy doing it with you, honey. I enjoy oh. doing it with you as well, love. <laughs> um, and so you know, even though you be falling asleep sometimes when I be driving, you know, taking when I'm taking the leads, you over there knocked out. On well, the that side. just shows that I trust you. Yeah, it does. How about that? Sleepy head. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so of course, communication is important. So. Hopefully during the first year of marriage, you know, just because you're married doesn't mean you're not going to have any fights. And like I said in the beginning where people just put so much pressure on themselves when they have a fight and it's like, oh, my God, we're fighting. We're not supposed to be fighting. We're married. Like, Mm -hmm. yeah, you're going to have you might have some, you know, some fights. The point is, which we talk about on another podcast, (laughs) another episode, excuse me, about, um, you know how to fight fair you mm-hmm. know fighting, fighting without fighting. fighting without fighting check that one out if you haven't heard that one mm-hmm. but it um but you know just learning those skills of how to communicate with your partner sometimes within the first year you could be learning those things let know? me ask everybody that's listening i not y'all listen to this real quick if you're driving you know what i'm saying pay attention right mm-hmm. what have you done the first time it was easy mm-hmm what have you done the first time it was easy? Nothing. Nothing. I mean, it'll be I mean, you could probably say a few things, you know, mm-hmm. very small things, but my point is the first time you do it is going to be difficult. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And some of us never merged families together, never merged had to be merged together in a marriage before. Mm-hmm. Uh you do have some people that has been married before and they kind of, you know, they kind of used to some things, but you know, it's still with this. Per- it's your first time merging with this person, mm-hmm. so it's going. It's going to be difficult, yeah. right? It's oh, just the whole- okay. So you're changing your mind then. Well, what so you're the first year of marriage is difficult. I mean, it's going to be just like I was saying with the deployment mm-hmm. situation. If you compare deployment to a normal, regular 
you know, society relationship, mm-hmm. then yes, the deployment is going to be more difficult than than that. But if you compare deployments to deployments, our deployment was a breeze. Mm-hmm. So what I'm saying is the first year of marriage compared to a normal relationship, mm-hmm. it's it it may be difficult because you're married y'all together, right? Mm-hmm. But compare it to other first year marriages, I think our first year of marriage was a breeze. Yeah. So I don't <laughs> think it has to be uh difficult. I just think it's all on your out uh, was it your attitude. Yeah, your attitude toward it. Because if you have so um basically Ad- if you have an attitude of well, I know there's going to be some adjustments that need to be made. Like right. if you approach your first year of marriage, understanding that we will have some conflict, but not, you know, blow it all out of proportion yeah. and just understanding that we're trying to get to, we're still learning each other. We're still merging our lives. And so these things are bound to happen. And so if you go t- into it with an, with an attitude of, you know, everything's okay, we're going to figure it out. Right. You know, then that is not that difficult. But right. if you, yeah, it's all well, about shoot. your attitude. Yeah, your, at- your, at- your, at- your attitude equals your altitude. Mm-hmm. So if you, you know, you drive a car, right, you know eventually it's going to run out of gas, mm-hmm. right? Eventually, right? So what you have to do, you have to go get some gas or eventually it's going to have a flat tire, mm-hmm. eventually. What you got to do is just change the tire. But by you getting frustrated that the fact that the cars ran out of gas or this stupid nail and gotten this tire, what is it, what is that going to do? What is that going to add to the overall relationship to to you and that vehicle? It's not going to add anything. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's going to actually take away. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So just go through it. Go through the go through the process of because when you hit those conflictual point points, it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. So just just go through the motions, right? And figure out okay, how can I avoid this? You're not going to avoid them all, but at least try to, you know, get a handle on some, certain things where it doesn't come around. Because I feel that 90 percent of your life with your wife or with your husband should be happiness. And 10 percent is going to be some some issues. Mm-hmm. What do you think about that ratio? I mean, I don't like putting percentages on things. I want to be happy. Just, I mean, I can, ninety versus ten. Yeah. I mean, just, just, yeah, 90%. just. Let's just say most of the time. Like, I don't. But most of the time is fifty, fifty-one percent. <laughs> That's more than 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 less. Well, you know, relationships ebbs and flows, mm-hmm. right? So, like, explain that to my people. <laughs> well, some people like myself, I didn't know this a couple years ago, but go for it. Yeah, I mean, it just, I mean, there may be a a a a, a six month period where you're not so happy. And there may be two years where you're in bliss. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. But, you know, like I said, so for, for the first year, for some people, this could be their difficult time. Mm-hmm. And then the second year is like, oh, my God, the, the second and third year. Oh, it's wonderful. For me and my marriage, you know, when I'm pregnant, I'm not happy. Mm-hmm. I'm not a happy camper. Turn <laughs> like, to a monster. Not, I am not a graceful pregnant person. Like we, we will. Well, some people who've who I worked with said that I carried it very well and yeah, all this stuff. Work, but then you come home. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I come home, Pizza. I'm I'm just a zombie. I I can't do anything. Like whatever energy and you know things that I had to to get through the day, it was spent at work. And by the time I get home. <laughs> I can't do anything. I'm sick. You guys, I'm pretty sure I had hyperemesis this last pregnancy. She self-diagnosed herself. I did because they were not she's taking not, me she's seriously. She's not a doctor. I don't know if y'all Listen. know that. Actually, it's not a doctor. Listen, I I, I don't want to just go off into a tangent, but I was so sick. I was throwing up at least twice a day and, you know, and I was nauseous all day long this is not an exaggeration i couldn't even swallow my spit you know and so anything sounds that, a little bit of an exaggeration just no a it's bit. not sounds, i was spitting in a cup it's it just sounds like it it was, it was making me sick all my women who've been through this know okay so through, during that time no this is not a good time in my marriage because you getting on my nerves every little I thing do no every little thing that normally i would have patience for <laughs> You get is getting on my nerves. Like walking. What you over there walking for? 
Damn, I can't walk. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a lot. And then uh, sometimes a lot, of, you know, women, we go through a lot. So some women start to feel resentment toward their husband, you know, because there is. We, we put you in that situation. Yeah, and then I'm sick and I still got to go to work and I still got to do this. And sometimes you feel like your husband not pulling their weight. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's you know, so is that a good time? No. No, I'm not happy. Right. <laughs> but it's just it's just the thing that's happening to me. Because some women don't get sick at all. They're just running around like, ooh, I love being pregnant. I, I love it. <laughs> not me. But you did go, uh, you had your, your, your baby is natural. So. I mean, that's the end of pregnancy, but, yes. you know, why would you cap off the end of this <laughs> rough pregnancy with <laughs> natural births, with no medicine, no, no, uh, what's the epidural, none of that? Because I wanted to. Just wanted to, okay. Go for I, it. I can, we won't, we won't use more time on this episode. We'll talk about it. We're going to talk about babies in marriage and, you know, because that's a whole, that's a whole thing. That's a whole Some people thing. do not survive pregnancy. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give y'all the, the the strategy you know back in the day used to have uh strategy books for games that come out. i think they probably still do but uh or maybe not they just use youtube now but yeah we get a strategy strategy book to uh survive pregnancy yeah because yeah. it's a total monster it's a thing that people like Something we really need different. to talk more about like yeah, you know going through a pregnancy is a whole thing yeah. it, it is a whole like for the man and you know too but you know mainly the woman yeah. <laughs> jason uh, anyway it's okay so what i don't even know how we got on that oh because you gave me this percentage thing and so that's why i can't give it a percentage of like oh you need to be 90 percent happy am i 90 percent happy during those six overall, months overall you about 90 percent I don't know. How you gonna tell percent? me what I was during those six months? I said overall in life, like with, well, that's what with I'm saying. Marriage. So that's why I can't. Well, okay. So if you want to just look at the whole entirety of our relationship, then yes. But what if a person only been married for a month and they fought like ten times that month? Well, y'all was fighting before y'all got married. <laughs> no, they could. I'm telling you, what if they didn't live together? What if one fight was about you not putting down the toilet seat? What if the other fight was about you, you know, I don't know, about me doing something crazy? So you didn't know that person didn't put down the toilet seat before? What if before? they didn't live together? But you still been spent some time with them. We didn't have a conversation about this until we got married, the toilet seat. But what I'm saying is you've been over the, the man's house and okay. she he's been over her house and I'm pretty sure he left the toilet seat up a couple of times. Oh. But now that we're living together and married, we need to decide on what's going to happen with this. Maybe she didn't say anything about it because that's your pad. But now this is my pad, too. So, you know, being considerate of other people, mm -hmm. of being considerate. So that could have been the first fight. It's a lot of bickering that can go on within the first year of, mm -hmm. of, of marriage. Just like I said, merging your lives together. Yeah. So, you know, and then people just, you know, expect different things, you know. Yeah. So, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So, so, um, so yeah. Now, I think that like as we're talking about deployment and military and stuff, the military has a great saying about adapt and overcome. Mm, and I that's think, the whole military. I think the Marines, like I heard, because I never heard of it. Oh, okay. Well, maybe y'all didn't adapt in the Air Force. I mean, maybe. we adapted. I mean, a lot of this stuff. The is, Marines say something about we are. They have know a. It. They have a third word the Marines do, but I can't remember what it is. But I heard my Navy senior chief said that adapt and overcome. And I he mean, said that we was a Navy say, like it is. It's not like you, you make it seem like it was a saying. Like that's just apparently you know, in the Marines. It like is. our saying was integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all I do. Okay, you know, so adapt and overcome is the Navy is honor, in, courage, and commitment. It's already embedded in that. You know what I'm saying? It's not a saying. But anyway, you just had a military as a, as a saying. Oh, excuse me. Go for it. The it Marines. I got to look it up because the Marines definitely say this. And, and from the way it was presented to me, that's what my senior chief that had been in the military for a long time, 20 plus years, said that the Navy, we say adapt and overcome. So mm, okay. that's what I thought. Go for it. I think that is a great motto to take into marriage. For sure. <laughs> adapt and overcome. For sure. I mean, and, you know, marriage is... I keep saying it. A marriage is a journey. Don't 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 sweat the small stuff, man. Mm -hmm. 
You got a lot. You got a lot of bigger fish to fry. You got businesses to start. You got, you know, you got leaders you have to raise up. You know, we raise. We're not raising children. We're raising raising leaders. You know what I'm saying? These are okay. So so about our first year of marriage with the deployment, I think that we were only able to get through that because for some reason we just trust each other. <laughs> we're just very trusting people mm-hmm. and we just adapted and overcame. We just understood what it was yeah. and there's no pressure like, Oh, we're married. We should be. Cause basically I could not talk to Jason on the phone except for once a week. Yeah. And I emailed him. I tried to email him every day. But this it helped out because he had been deployed before, so he understood that you, sometimes I just cannot call you. If you trust somebody, it takes away a lot of stress. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's, uh, I wouldn't get married if you don't trust a person. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like Me neither. Just straight up. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't do it. If you don't trust it, trust him or her, don't do it. It's, it's not time yet. Yeah. Because it's unnecessary. We, you already got so much, uh, so many other things to, to have to, to battle with so many other battles and, and you can't battle properly if you don't trust to make that supposed to be battling with you. Right. Right. You supposed to, y'all supposed to have y'all back against each other, taking on the world. But if you are afraid that she's going to stab you in your back or he's going to stab you in your back, you can't effectively do your job. Mm-hmm. So if you don't trust, don't get married. Yeah, for sure. (laughs) But like I was saying, so that that was a major thing. I think that's why we were able to do that. Um, Somebody else, like I was saying about putting too much pressure on yourself, Mm -hmm. you know, maybe they were like, well, we should be talking to each other every day and we're married. It's like, no, you have to work within whatever you have. You have to play the card, the, the hand that you're dealt. And right now we're deployed. So even though we're married, we can't talk to each other every single day. Right. Sorry. You know what I mean? But he, he understood that. And I understood that. And we didn't have this idea. We, we weren't trying to like hang on to this idea of what a first year of marriage should be. Cause we couldn't, cause I was deployed, you know? Mm-hmm. So but when we um, eventually started merging our lives, our second year of marriage, I think that the financial, um, peace just having come us getting used to having conversations about that Mm -hmm. that was probably like the one hardest thing yeah about all of my business yeah (laughs) (laughs) i'm like no we have to because i remember like okay jason we got to sit down and like write out all our debt and write out how much income we have and like come up with a plan and jason just maybe he's just like not a planner and then he do like his freedom so i think that was probably the hardest thing for you Yeah. yeah Like yeah. me, you didn't like me trying to tell you what you can do with your money or something like that. But. Well, it's yeah, you know, like you said, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not the, you know, I will plan. I just, I, I, you know, it's like I like to plan my way, which is my way is not the best way, obviously. But it's like, I don't know, it's just like, uh, I don't want to go through. You know, how sometimes you in the classroom with people that. I mean, you know, don't get, don't take this the wrong way, America and, and other other countries. He probably shouldn't say it, right? But whatever. <laughs> so you in a country, and you you just know. I mean, you in a a class, and you you just know all the stuff that the teacher is teaching, but you still have to sit through it because the other students don't get it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's kind of frustrating. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that you don't know what you're doing. It's just you don't know what's in my head. So you going through all, you know, you going through the, all the proper steps because that's what you do as a planner. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I was like, I don't want to do that. I want to skip that. Come on, come on. Let's get to the important stuff so we can be more efficient about this. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, that's part of it being, you know, being a planner, but also part of it is, yeah, somebody else telling you what to do. And I've been doing this for how many years I've been alive. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 a it's a thin line of you being my mama mm-hmm. uh, you know, and being my partner. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that you know, some people you might have to tiptoe into that situation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like me. Mm-hmm. But what else? Now. What else? Can you think of anything else? What as far as first year of marriage? Yeah. I would always advise people, you know, if you wanna go ahead and have a baby, 
great, but I think it's an no, awesome, no, awesome no. idea to not have a child in yeah. first year of marriage. I'm going to see. I, I, I'm like Charles Barkley. I'm going to say the stuff that, you know, y'all want to hear, but see, people scared to say it. Uh, some people say that's Trump, too, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> so, but no, nah, I'm gonna say don't get it, don't don't get pregnant your first year. You know, I'll take two years, especially if you're young. Man, take your time. <laughs> you wanna take your time. Mm-hmm. Don't want to say the, the rest of the song, but take your time on getting that baby. You know, mm-hmm. especially if you're young. If you're in your twenties, um, early twenties, man, you can wait about four years, four, <laughs> five, six years before you talking about getting married. I mean, before you talking about getting a baby. Yeah, because having a baby definitely changes things. It changes the whole dynamic. Yeah. So just go out, have fun, enjoy each other, take your time. And if you if you are gonna have a baby, you know what I'm saying, make sure you have a, a solid support system. Go ahead and start uh talking to your your moms and your friends and who's gonna be the guy parents, you know, because you, you can still like we're we're away from our family. You know, mm-hmm. we we're here in Los Angeles and you know, your mom is here. Uh but what I'm saying is we can't go to her every time we wanna yeah. take a trip. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like we would we going to Hawaii and they was like, You taking the kids? We was like, Yeah, we're taking our kids. <laughs> like, yeah, we're taking our kids. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, we going here. Yeah, yeah. You taking your kids to Vegas? Yeah, we taking our kids to Vegas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, some people don't want to take their kids. We're perfectly fine with it. You know, we, we enjoy our our children. They're awesome. Um we do do need some alone time, you know. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we'll get it eventually. But <laughs> <laughs> You know, if you're that type of person where you just need some alone time, make sure you have a good support support system. You know? Yeah, I mean, and we get a little bit of alone time if we get the kids to bed and on a decent hour and all of this stuff. We have a little alone time at the house so we can Netflix and chill. You right, know? <laughs> which is awesome. Yeah, but uh, but I, you know, we have a, we have a friend couple that that they go to to the movies every every Tuesday. They recently yeah, we married. can't do that. Nah, yeah, we definitely can't do that. <laughs> well, I'm thinking, do you think they can do that after they get baby? You know, once the baby come in the picture? I mean, it just depends. I think they can because because well, they have more support. Correct. Yeah. But you know, the first few months may may throw it off a little bit. Yeah, but definitely. Like first six months. First six months. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, yeah. So, but I, you know, the baby, baby is a baby is baby is a curveball. You don't know what you're gonna get out that baby. Mm-hmm. You might get a little screamer. Yeah. You might. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't know what you're gonna get mm-hmm. that's one of the surprises of, of, the, of life yeah mm. so the better you are at like the the better you have done at like finding systems that work for you and your partner and just you guys meshing well together and working together as a team the stronger your foundation is for that the better having the baby will be because if you haven't figured that stuff out and you throw a baby on top of that ooh, it's yeah. rough yeah, it's rough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't want to. Re- we don't want to. Uh, uh, we don't want to wish bad things on people. Mm-hmm. But uh, bad things will happen if you don't, <laughs> if you don't have that stuff in order and you have a baby. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's that's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. Some people may think, oh, be having a baby bring us closer. Mm-mm. No, it doesn't. But I can kind of see why people may think that. Yeah, but. No. No, you need to be close already. Yes. <laughs> That's the best thing is for yeah. you to be close already. Yeah. So yeah, I mean I guess so. What what is the what's your final thoughts on this? Final <laughs> thoughts is your first year of marriage is what you make of it. It can be difficult. It can be a breeze. <laughs> um it's just, it's all about your attitude. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You just have a, a, a great attitude about you know this journey that you guys are are embarking on um have a plan you know plan out your first year of marriage you know how how can you do that she my wife just threw a face at me how can you plan out i'm actually surprised that you using the word plan well yeah you know <laughs> because i've i've, I've evolved mm-hmm. i've changed mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so you know i'm very <laughs> spontaneous but yeah you can plan out certain, certain things like trips you're gonna you know places you want to go definitely trips you gotta your first year of marriage you gotta travel yes that's my thought final thought go out as much as possible get, have as much get out of the possible. house mm-hmm. your first year of marriage together mm-hmm. go see the world <laughs> get you some passports mm-hmm. that's that's my that's my final thought 
get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy yourself, mm-hmm. man. Go to Dubai. Go to Australia. Go wherever you can go. Just mm-hmm. go. If, you, if you're in Brinkley, Arkansas, you can only get to Memphis. Go to Memphis. <laughs> That's right. You know? Just get get out of the, get out of your your environment mm-hmm. and, and make those make those um, memories and, ex, um, and yeah those memories together. And we didn't talk about the people that already have children that's mm-hmm. getting into marriage. You know what I'm saying? You know, so if you don't have that option uh, to 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 just be free without children and you have kids already, that's okay. You mm-hmm. still can go. Sure, get can. out of there. Like I said, we packed up our kids and went to Hawaii. Had a great time. Had an awesome time. <laughs> Shoot. So you can do it. <laughs> yeah, just just get out of there and go listen to Coins and Commitment. We talk about how you can save money doing it, mm-hmm. right? So those those pointers and tips still apply to this day, and they're gonna. I don't know how long it's gonna last. Maybe ten, fifteen years from now. <laughs> right. But uh, we talk about credit card points. But uh, but yeah. So just man, just enjoy your first year of marriage, and and just know that it's gonna take time. To get through all the, the 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 small nuances, but it's okay. Mm-hmm. It's a part of it, right? What's your final thoughts, love? Yeah, pretty much the same. The attitude. Don't be trying to take my stuff. Conversation I'm rules the nation. Stuff. <laughs> conversation rules the nation. You've been waiting on that. What waiting to say that conversation rules? No, the just came up. Sometimes I'm quick on my feet. Okay. okay? Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes. <laughs> I get you that. Jason probably had used, it written down. No, Jason is used <laughs> to being the one that uh, is the quickest on his feet. So whenever I'm quick, he's a little shocked. But yeah, my wife she has show notes. I don't. Okay, so, so. let's just give her put everybody <laughs> perspective. So yeah, conversation rules the nation. Okay. Communication is the key. And first year marriage, I know for us, we we just keep in mind that you're a team. Um, you know, your expectations need to be that of there might be some little rifts or whatever, but there's nothing that we can't work through. You right. know, we're married and it's it's all good, you know. Let's let's do it. And it's not forever, it's just for your lifetime. What? Get out of here. But life is short. That's my whole point. But my people that uh that 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 have been married for a while, they understand what I'm saying. Life is too short to be dealing with all that, that right. foolishness. But hey, I hope y'all enjoyed us today. Uh, another episode of Loveology Podcast. We're talking about the first year of marriage, y'all. We have a, a weekly discussion we're going to be uh, uh, jumping on uh, Wednesday, um, 6 o'clock uh, Pacific, um, was it 8 o'clock Central, 9 o'clock Eastern. We're going to be on Facebook Live. You can either check out our old uh, stuff on YouTube. You can see what it's all about. We give away free stuff. Uh, and our stuff that we're giving away is on lovologypodcast.com. Check out the merchandise. We we really em- enjoy sharing our lives with you guys and girls, and hopefully that can help and start a conversation yeah. and, 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 and go from there. So, because we all, we're not experts, but, you know, we're all learning this thing called love, and nobody on this earth knows everything there is about love. So, we're all learning, right? So, again, thank y'all. Y'all be blessed. And we'll catch y'all next time on the flip side. Peace. You've been listening to the Loveology Podcast. Did you have fun with us today? Tell a friend about our show. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to keep the conversation going. Be sure to subscribe so you'll never miss an episode. Visit us at lovologypodcast.com. Thanks for listening. Until next time, Loveologists.